welcome to the Southeastern Ethnobotany Channel. We're here in the Cherokee Worldview Garden and we're going to talk a little bit about yellow root today. This is a wonderful little plant and it's used both medicinally and also uh, as an art supply uh, by Cherokee people. Uh, used historically, of course, used contemporarily too. So as a dye, it's used for this reason. I think you can see the yellow color of the stem. Uh, this is also present in the rhizomes, so these are harvested and boiled. And then white oak splits or river cane splits uh, or perhaps honeysuckle splits are boiled in this and it actually dyes these so that basket makers can create patterns in their baskets using this particular color. Uh, medicinally, um, the same particular color indicates the presence of berberine. So berberine is a type of alkaloid. It's present in a lot of plants, a lot of plant families. Um, and it has many medicinal properties, among which are antifungal and antibacterial properties. Um, and so Cherokee people were using it for that particular reason, too. Sometimes they would incorporate it as part of um, uh, spiritual celebrations uh, based around particular uh, celebrations, seasonal celebrations, like the green corn ceremony, uh, but it was also used uh, more often than that, particularly if you had something like a mucous membrane infection in your mouth, or uh, perhaps an eye infection, or a cut on the hand. Uh, this was a really uh, good plant for um, uh, healing uh, bacterial infections in that way. Um, this plant, of course, is in winter conditions, so you're not seeing how it usually looks uh, throughout most of the year. Um, the leaves are beginning to die down, but it's a really gorgeous plant. Now, its native habitat is along stream beds and riversides, um, and you can find this distributed throughout the southeast in various locations. It's, it's also an early spring bloomer, so very, very early on in the spring, say March or so, maybe the latter part of February, you'll see purple flowers emerge from the tips of these stems and the, the flowers emerge and bloom before the leaves ever come on in this plant and so it's quite a lovely plant to, to view and it's really happy in, in landscapes too, in home landscapes. So if you wanted to maybe grow some of this for yourself um, in your home landscape, you could. It's an easy plant to grow.